for its positive economic news from Cincinnati City Hall tonight. The proposed 2012 budget is balanced. However, citizens may have to dig into their pockets a little deeper for some basic services. Nine News reporter Tom McKee here now to explain why. Tom? On layoffs, no $33 million deficit, no cuts to health care, recreation centers, or school nurses. However, trash collection is being restructured, vacant jobs eliminated, and some utility rates could rise. That is what Cincinnati City Manager Milton Dahoney Jr. proposed for 2012 today. The message to the citizens is that the city's financial picture is improving. Cincinnati City Manager Milton Dahoney Jr. delivered an early holiday gift Friday. Income tax came in higher than expected to the tune of nearly $6 million. That plus $13 million in strategic cuts took care of two-thirds of the deficit. The remainder came from renegotiating the Convergence lease since the firm hasn't met new job creation goals at Atrium One. The city gets $14 million with $10 million going to deficit reduction. We have been able to get Converges to extend their commitment for their headquarters from 2018 to 2020. Uh, if their employment levels fall below 500 jobs, the city is due to get $5 million in additional revenue. Two swimming pools are recommended for closing, Fairview Pool in Fairview Heights and Filson Pool in Mount Auburn. For a city our size, we simply have too many pools. Rates at the Greater Cincinnati Waterworks could go up 8.5% to continue infrastructure upgrades. This additional cost to the average city consumer will be 5.5 cents a day. And Metropolitan Sewer District fees may rise another 8% to keep pace with EPA consent decree requirements. The typical uh, resident cost hike will be about 46 cents more per month. Past years have seen down-to-the-wire budget talks, but now Dahoney feels the city has some breathing room. With a balanced 2012 budget in front of us, the government has an opportunity, at least for a time, to calm the financial waters while we prepare for a period of sustained growth. Now, Dahoney said that time could be used to review whether more pools should close, whether the city should be in the health clinic business, and perhaps to explore ways, new ways of combating foreclosure. Mayor Mark Mallory and council members aren't commenting yet until they absorb details of this Dahoney plan. Tanya, Clyde? Quite the turnaround, Tom. Thanks.